Welcome to Chatterbox Audio Theater. Our first episode of Thumbnail Theater is written by Talia Zacks and is called Floristan. Consider life in B-flat. It may be major or minor depending on your disposition. I tend to hear minor, but ten years of constant exposure to that same mournful note have likely warped my perception. The doctors call it tinnitus. I call it cruel to give a scientific name to an unscientific torment. It implies some degree of manageability. My B-flat isn't played by an instrument or sung in the same way thoughts rarely register as words. If it was orchestrated, though I mean put to music, it would be the responsibility of an oboe, thin and wet and resonant. Do you hear? It starts out almost comforting. You think, yes, this reedy, complaining noise, some harmony for the melancholy, an accompaniment, a friend, maybe even. As it stays, though, it transforms. A hollow undercurrent emerges. The whine of a tired lover, everything you hear becomes dull colorless, overwhelmed by the rude, irresolute timbre of that unyielding B-flat. It's worth noting that most every popularly broadcasted piece of music is dissonant, maddeningly, with B-flat. A joke. A constant aural reminder. You do not fit in. I've been told that Schumann also had a note. An A. High. Tinny. Screeching, abrasive, so dominant over his person, it eventually packed up his belongings and drove him to insanity. And escorting him there, invisible companions were Eusebius and Floristan, his personal versions of the proverbial shoulder-seated angel and demon. Eusebius, kind. Floristan, toward. When my B-flat was emerging, I used to use those two for a morbid kind of comfort. I imagine the journey to Schumann's psychosis, Eusebius with an arm around the composer, Floristan outside the coach, his irises streaked through with red, whipping the horses, urging more speed. By the time they reached their destination, he would have been foaming at the mouth. I'm in a McDonald's, eating alone. The radio's on, auto-tuned assembly line music, the company recipe. Hit making rhythm, bright C major, invigorating listening for the senseless masses. C major is one of the most terrible keys if you live in B flat. It's engineered to induce insanity. I would love to leave, but my ride is late. It's too cold to wait outside. Mona, her name is the girl who's picking me up. We met in a dive bar, but she said she loved music, the real kind. Classical. I'm in my booth trying to find some solace in my burger, dreaming of a Bach invention when this suave-looking fellow, his pupils just barely tinted red, slides in across from me. It's time, he breathes. Seductive. Familiar. As if I've known him all my life. We leave the restaurant. My mind's gone blank save for the note and a single name. Schumann. I can't take my eyes off the man ahead, his long, dark coat, pale skin peeping above it. We walk, Schumann, 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 and my world falls neatly in line, balled up and stuffed in a trunk. Listen. A whip. Listen. Like drums into battle. the galloping hooves. You've been listening to Flora Stand by Talia Zacks, featuring Christopher Tracy. Sound effects by Karen Strawn. Produced and directed by Robert Arnold. If you enjoyed that, you'll enjoy our longer shows. Hear them all for free on iTunes and chatterboxtheater.org. Thank you.